everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today we're going to make a vacation memory ball. I was really excited when I found these little ice makers. I have the blue ones, if you remember from the glitter ball. And the other one has a matte finish. And I've been looking forever for something that has a shiny finish, just like this. And it comes with four of them, so you don't have to use all of them for resin. If you wanted to use some for ice, you certainly can. I've mixed one ounce of the Easy Cast, And I am going to... Add some sand to this. And this is sand that I brought back from a previous vacation. So you just want to add a bunch until it gets nice and chunky. The sand gets very dark when you put it in the resin. So what I do is I add white glitter. You could do a fine white glitter. Generally I do a chunky white glitter. And I just pour a bunch in there. And you can't really even tell that it's in there once you get it all mixed in. So you want to get it nice and chunky. All right, so now we're just going to put it right into the mold and then pop your bubbles. So after about an hour or so has passed, I'm going to take these little shells, and you could have collected them on vacation, or these I happen to have um, purchased at the craft store, but you always find these teeny tiny pretty shells out on the beach, so it'd be easy to just use ones that you found. I've mixed a half an ounce of the Easy Cast Resin and my starfish are all dried because I had sealed them with the Mod Podge. And I have these other shells as well. So now I'm going to just sort of lay them wherever I want. I'm going to dip them in. And I'm going to kind of stand them up a little bit. Now obviously I'm going to try not to have too many bubbles, but bubbles aren't going to be the worst thing in the world in a project like this. And it's going to get a little tough for me to control them later, so we're just going to have to do it the best that we can. So if I want to add some additional shells, I'm going to just drop them in. That way they're less likely to create problems for me later with bubbles. Once you get a bunch of the shells in, I'm going to just take the remainder of the resin, pour it in. Now I'm going to hit it with a lighter, and I'm going to come back a couple times because I know there's going to be additional bubbles that come up just because of the voids in the shell. So I'm going to let this sit overnight and then I will come back. We're going to close it up and keep working our magic. Okay, so you have your pile of shells and the resin is hardened. I just cleaned up this edge just a little bit in case there was anything stuck on it. So what we're going to do to be able to hang this is we are going to embed a fish hook. And I have created this stand and I took a couple cups a skewer stick and a popsicle stick to keep it all stable for this thing to be able to hang down in there and I suspended it from wire so that when everything cures it'll all be good. I'm going to close this up with the lid and I have mixed some more of my resin. I have one ounce so I'm just going to start to pour it in here. I know I'm going to miss part of it. Now I'm going to just take this and try to get this in there, try to center it and just leave it there. I'm going to let this set for maybe 12 hours or so. Okay, I've mixed one more ounce and I'm going to carefully try to get it in here. Oopsie daisy, right next to it. And I'm going to add a little more resin as well, thinking another ounce. And then we'll just let that cure. Okay, I am going to take this apart and unmold it. Okay, Ooh, look how nice and clear that is. I have my Dremel tool and I put on, I don't know if it's like a grinding stone or exactly what it is, I don't know. Now I'm going to very gently grind this edge. Now I have a little buffer that I'm putting on here. I have the ball hanging between two cups off of a skewer stick and there's room underneath here. And I mix just a very small amount of resin. And I have a little brush, a little foam brush, and I'm going to carefully take it in my hand, make sure my gloves are clean, and I'm going to go around with a very small amount of resin and just touch up these areas so that they will be bright and shiny again and you won't see that little lip. But remember, you only want a teeny tiny bit because I don't want anything dripping. So hopefully you won't even be able to notice it once it cures. And I'll do the same on the top because I ground that down a little bit as well. So here it is all finished and the, the ridge is still there but it's not that noticeable. And in the top you can see all the shells and the starfish. The bottom you can see the sand. So I'm going to actually hang this right by my front door 
And I, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. Be sure to let me know what you think of the memory ball in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching, sharing, commenting, and being here every single week. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe, and I will definitely see you next time.